Good morning, everyone. My name is Lee Wing Hing, and I'm head of uh, uh, pharmaceutical technology programs. And I came from a faculty of pharmacy and health sciences, Uni KLRCMPs. And today I would like to share with you a little bit on the futures of uh, pharmaceutical technology programs, especially to Malaysia. So as you all know that the pharmaceutical technology programs in Malaysia is very, very new. And there are a number of, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, misunderstanding between pharmaceutical technology program and pharmacies. So before I go further, so I would like to explain to you all what is the difference between a Bachelor of Pharmacy and Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Technologies. So as you all know, uh, Bachelor of Pharmacy is more towards as to train the students will be a pharmacist later on with uh, they were going to serve as a, uh, as a pharmacist and try to consult with the patients how to use the drugs in a correct manner however the knowledge of the of the uh, pharmacy a bachelor, bachelor pharmacy students will be a very very minimum especially in terms of uh, when they want to produce uh, formulations but when compared to pharmaceutical technologies, most of the students or our students from RCMP at the end of the day, they will know about how to produce uh, uh, so-called formulations which has a better, uh, uh, better performance, a better release, better release uh, 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 effect, and so that at the end of the day, the patients will no need to take the tablet for that so frequent. So in other words, it is very clear manner in the sense that the pharmaceutical technology students will only will try to focus on the how they're going to formulate uh, the formulations, especially the drugs. So what are they trying to play around is they try to use their knowledge when they learn from the pharmaceutical technology, especially how about they're going to uh, apply uh, the active uh, pharmaceutical ingredients and how they can uh, apply their knowledge to produce a formulations with that they can have a, some sort of a control release systems. So nowadays the control release systems or slow release system is very very important in our uh, medical field in the sense that we do need to have or we do need to take the tablet for that frequent. That is the very very important thing because nowadays everybody also knows that the resistance of the antibiotics. So throughout this kind of uh, approaches, so patients will be will have a minimum risk of uh, antibiotic resistance. So before I go further about the pharmaceutical technology programs, so why I say Pharmaceutical technology program is very very relevant in for our Malaysians. So for your information, there are more than hundreds of companies that already register with uh, uh, so-called Malaysian organizations of pharmaceutical industries. So all these companies when they register with a MOPI, so-called MOPI, so they have their own products, they're going to produce their own products. So for that reason, Pharmaceutical technology so students are going to play an important role for these uh, uh, so, uh, industries. Why I say so? For your information, every year our country spend more than more than hundred millions in terms of buying the drugs. That means for the patient use. Every year, this is not a small amount. So with our our programs, so later on or at the end of the day, our our students will know that. They know how to fabricate so-called generic drugs that they can be used for the patients without compromising the health and then the activity of the drugs. So in that sense, I believe that our students or in future, we can save numbers of millions or numbers of and quite a lot of money for our countries. So for that reasons, once again, I, I, will, I will emphasize that our students have a great profit, uh, great futures in terms of uh, uh, generating uh, new drugs or the generic drugs for our nation use. So, at the same time, also nowadays, 
or Malaysia is famous for the herbal products. But the problem with the herbal products in, in our country is we don't have any standardizations. So that could be a, another problem for, for uh, our nations. So everybody knows our herbal products have a good effect. But without a standardization process, so all the patients, all the consumers were exposed to the risk of uh, toxicities. But with our, our pharmaceutical students, we will train them or at the end of the day, <coughs> they will know how to run the test in order to, to detect what is the minimum concentration or what is the suitable concentrations that can be used or consumed by the patients without any uh, uh, so-called harmful or any uh, uh, so uh, compromise their, their active molecules or activities. So this is very important. So in, ad in addition also, for our pharmaceutical technology students, they will learn, they will expose how to prepare the drugs, how to prepare the com uh, cosmetics uh, 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 products, and how they're going to uh, produce all the health-related products at the end of the day. So this is a very, very important uh, uh, program, I would say, important program for our future students. So by looking at, as I mentioned earlier, by looking at our country uh, consumptions or, or the power of our purchasing from, the, from, from our citizens of our Malaysians. So every year, our Malaysians spend a lot of money for these kind of products. So at the same time also, with uh, the certificate or with the so-called knowledge of the pharmaceutical students uh, on these kind of manners, he or she managed to so called consult to everyone this product is safe for the consumptions. So let's back to slightly more on our programs. So in our programs, in our that means the pharmaceutical technology program that offered by UniCare RCMPs, it consists of seven semesters. So at the end of the year, it means the seven, semester seven, all the students will be go out and then to learn or spend their whole semester with the industry. So at that time, they will thoroughly or significantly expose to the industry life. So in other words, from there, they will learn how to work as a, as a worker in the industry of a pharmacist. So this will be a greatly enhance the so-called uh, the experience of the, uh, our future pharmaceutical technology students. So at the same time also in our programs, so we will try to emphasize that uh, there are numbers of uh, a program that we, we already uh, so-called uh, highlighted or we already designed for the students. For example, they can do uh, so-called entrepreneurships. So during their, their studying time also, they were exposed to how they're going to run a business. This is very important in the sense that as we need to expose the students how to contact uh, so-called their company in a nice manner. At the same time also, they can so-called generate their own income, which in future, they try to reduce uh, so-called uh, reliance on or from the governments. So all these things is going to uh, design so that at the end of the day, our student will get a benefit. So at the same time, they have a pharmaceutical technology experience, so they also can run their own business. So these are the number of things that I try to highlight uh, for these uh, 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 sections. So thank you very much.